I just wanted to do a video on the new songs that were announced for Rock Band 4. Uh, last week, IGN uh, announced the first six songs that would be included on disc. It's important to note that these six songs do not constitute the best songs on discs. These are just songs that are confirmed to be on disc. There's still a bunch of big name artists that Harmonix has said they will be announcing in the coming months. Um, and they're still actively working on pursuing artists to include in the game. They still haven't nailed the set list down. They usually don't have an idea of what songs will be on disc until a month before or so. And if you guys have any song requests, go to rockband.com backslash request and make song requests directly to Harmonix. Let's get started with the songs that were announced. So the first one was Hail to the King by Avenged Sevenfold. This was pretty much expected because we had DLC released from them earlier in the year. And even Harmonix said it themselves that Hail to the King was one of the top 25 most requested songs through their request system. The next one is Fleetwood Mac, uh, You Make Loving Fun which I was actually really surprised if there was more Fleetwood Mac because a couple of their songs got pulled off the DLC store uh, because of licensing issues. So um, maybe those songs will make an appearance or at least come back on the music store in the future. The, the next one is Jack White, Lazaretto. We've never had any of Jack White's solo stuff, but we've had a ton of stuff from the White Stripes as well as Dead Weather. So I'm not really surprised we're seeing more Jack White. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Jack White DLC pack get released down the road. The Killer, Somebody Told Me. A few songs that were announced was Spin Doctors, Little Miss Can't Be Wrong, and The Seeker by The Who, which is kind of surprising considering we got so much Who DLC that somehow The Seeker didn't make it in. Glad it's finally being included, one of my favorite Who songs. So that basically does it for the first six songs that were announced. I'd like to know what are your guys' reactions? Are you guys happy or are you guys a little disappointed? Comment in the section below. If you want to stay up to date on all things Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live related, including Amplitude, click the subscribe button. Take care.